Hey, Team Imagination. My name is Mrs. Rader, and Mrs. Brewer and I are so excited to meet our new Team Imagination students. In this video, you're going to learn how to put together your pencil pouch and your Team Imagination binder so you can get all of those things put together and ready to go for the first day of school. So you all probably got an email that has the list of supplies needed. Um, so here's our supply list and all of those things we'll talk about in this video. The first thing we're going to do is put together our Team Imagination binder. So you will need a one and a half inch binder of any kind. Um, typically binders that have a D ring will make life a little bit easier. Um, it can have any kind of cover that you want. It can be any color that you want. Um, as long as it's about an inch and a half. Um, one inch would definitely be too small, so make sure it's at least an inch and a half. You can decorate the cover however you'd like. Um, we do call this our Team Imagination Binder, so you may want to put that on the front. You'll also want to make sure that your name and Team Imagination is written somewhere on this binder. In case you misplace it, then we'll be able to get it returned to you. So this binder is going to go everywhere with you. It's going to go home with you every day. It's going to come back to school with you. It's going to go to all of your uh, specials and flex time classes. So you'll want to make sure it's a pretty durable binder. The first thing we're going to do is open up our binder and we're going to open up the rings. The very first folder that we're going to put in our binder, we're going to label it flex. So this is going to be your flex time folder. So go ahead and take a folder and label it with flex time. Please feel free to press pause if you need to. And then this is going to go in the back of your binder. This will be the first thing we put in, but it'll be the last thing in your binder. So everything else is going to go on top of this. The next folder we'll put in our binder is your specials folder. So take another folder and label it with specials. You'll notice that these folders just have three holes in them so that they will fit inside the binder. Uh, the inside, you can see they just have two pockets. Uh, you won't be able to use one a folder with prongs. That won't typically work. So you'll want a folder that's nice and simple with three holes and two pockets. So your specials folder, you are going to put right on top of your flex time folder, just like that. The next folder that you're going to put in, you're going to label math and science. And then that's going to go right on top of your specials folder. So again, please feel free to press pause if you need to. Now we're going to change it up. And you were asked to purchase a three subject notebook. So you're going to label that three subject notebook with workshop on the front. You may also want to put your name on it just in case. And then that's going to go in your binder on top of your math and science folder. Like so. The next folder we'll put in is language arts, social studies. And that's going to go right on top of your workshop notebook. And then our final folder is going to say homework. And that's going to be the first thing that you see when you open your binder. So I'm going to go ahead and close this up. So now you can see here's my binder all put together. Oh, one of my folders fell out. Here we go. Here's my binder all put together. So when I open it up, the first thing I see is homework, language art, social studies, workshop notebook, math and science folder, specials folder, and flex time folder. Again, you can label the front of, you can decorate the front of your binder any way you want. You can decorate it however you'd like, make sure it represents you. And your team imagination binder is ready to go. Now, in terms of your pencil pouch, we prefer a zippered pencil pouch because if it doesn't have a zipper, when you drop it, all of your things fall out. Um, inside that pencil pouch, 
you'll want to put a 12 pack of colored pencils. We do like for those colored pencils to come to class with you every day because we do use them that often. So if you can fit the 12 pack of colored pencils in there, that would be ideal. If not, we'll figure something out. We asked you to get three glue sticks. So we would put one glue stick in your pencil pouch and then we will leave two glue sticks in your locker. Be sure to label everything with your name. So using a Sharpie, write your name on every single thing that's going in your pencil pouch. Um, you can put your extra supplies in a freezer bag or something like that um, so that you can keep them in your locker in a nice organized way. So inside your pencil pouch so far, you should have a 12 pack of colored pencils, you should have one glue stick. Next, put in a pair of scissors. They can be scissors you find laying around your house. I'm sure we all have lots and lots of scissors from years past. Pencils, I'd put at least two or three pencils inside that pencil pouch. And then the rest of your pencils, you can put in that freezer bag to keep, to keep in your locker for when you need them. A highlighter, so you're gonna stick a highlighter inside your pencil pouch. A Sharpie marker, preferably with a thin, with a fine point. You're going to want that to do outlining or um, writing letters on posters. We do all kinds of fun things. So you put a black Sharpie in your pencil pouch. We asked you to get two or three dry erase markers. You just need one for your pencil pouch. And then the other two can go in a freezer bag to keep in your locker. And that's about it. So the other things that we asked you to get are earbuds or headphones, and we'll actually be keeping those inside the classroom this year in your homeroom. We'll keep those um, over, overnight so that they're never going home with you. We want to make sure that you have all of your supplies at school. Uh, the other thing that we ask you to get is a refillable water bottle. Hydrate. Hydration is so, so important, and we want you to have a drink with you. Um, so you can have that at your desk. Uh, please don't buy anything that has glass because glass breaks. Um, make sure that it's got a nice secure top so that if it falls over, we don't have water spilled everywhere. Um, but hopefully this answers all of your questions about what to do with your supplies. There are some supplies that we will collect. Um, one thing that we'll collect are uh, reams of notebook paper. So we asked you to get two packs of loose leaf notebook paper. So Mrs. Brewer and I will collect those from you on the first day of school. And then um, we did ask for some wish list items such as tissues and paper towels and uh, antibacterial wipes, sandwich size bags and candy. So those are things that we'll also collect um, either at our orientation or on the first day of school. We can't wait to meet you. We're so excited to have you on our team. We'll see you soon.